Hill. Hello, everybody. Today we're going to be going over a quick script that should make your life a little bit easier. It's string replace for terminal blocks. So in this is instance, we've got a handful of containers and blocks, terminal blocks, that have CMR0 inside of the name. Now, this is for one of my cargo modules. It's a refinery labeled zero. Say if we, we put a few of these in or we're loading the blueprints and we want to change that CMR0 for all of these. But it's a complete pain to do it manually. So what we can do is we can go into our terminal or programming block, do an edit, we can load the string replace for terminal blocks from the Steam Workshop, load this in, go to the string old value and string new value. Both of these are going to be like the value that it's going to be replacing, so CMR0, and say we want to call it CMR1. Now, all this other stuff is if you want to have it sent to verbose. We'll get into that in just a minute. We're going to remember an exit, and we're going to run this program. Now, if we look for CMR, every single one of these has a CMR1 next to it instead of a CMR0. So, say we want to use one of these fancy LCD displays, or just display it to your antenna or something like that. So we'll change this from CMR1, we want to name it CR, CMR2, we're going to turn the verbose to true instead of false, and by default it's got true for going to a display name, so we're going to go ahead and check this code, hit OK, remember and exit. We've got this little button over here that's set to run the programming block, which should change this LCD panel up here got an original text the fills LCD panel all your coder belong to Skynet <laughs> okay so we run it one time and it tells us everything that it's gonna end up doing the old name was CMR1 new name CMR2 for every block that's in there hit it one more time it'll clear that LCD screen out and put it back to all your code over along to Skynet and let's actually check to see if it works so we go into our little button panel and now we see CMR2 is set to everything. So say we don't have an LCD panel. You can go ahead and do an edit right here. Change this from 2 to 3. We want to change this LCD to false. So it's going to pick the first antenna if it doesn't find a specific block that you mentioned. So if we look out here, hit our tab, you can see our antenna's name is right there. Hit this button one time, and boom, this is everything it just did for us. 27 blocks replaced. We hit this button one more time, it clears that message out, takes it back to the original one. And we can see in here, all our blocks have been renamed that we wanted renamed. So, say you want a custom block to do the display. And it, we're going to take our button panel and do this. So we're going to take this text right here copy the string replace display. You can call this anything you want if you're running multiple programs. We don't even have to do a recompile on this this portion of it. So we're going to put in to the button panel here the string replace display. Now if we run this program, it turns the HUD on and it tells us there's no blocks to replace because we didn't change the name. Let's do that really quick. So we want the names to be CMR3 to CMR4. Remember an exit, we run it, and now it shows us everything on that button panel display instead. So now say you don't have something that simple. And let's go ahead and do a reset on these. We'll take it back to the default LCD. And we want to take anything that is a small cargo container. Say we don't like the small cargo container text because it's just too long. Oh, we need to remove this too just for the... So it displays back to the LCD. So instead of replacing some random thing that I've got. You can use this for your own own things. We want to change anything that's a small cargo container to 
SCC. Check that code, hit OK. Now we, when we run it, it should show it on the LCD up there. It tells us that every single small cargo container has been renamed to SCC. Go ahead and clear that screen. And let's look for cargo containers. We have nothing. So one of the features of this is if you get somebody's blueprint from the workshop and they changed everything to SCC and you actually want it to be small cargo container because it's easier for you to remember that way, you can easily go ahead and change everything that they modified and replace it with what you want, the original stuff. So now everything SCC has be re been renamed to small cargo container. I'm sure you guys can find out some other crazy things to do with this, ways to piss people off, but this code works, and it works pretty well. So I hope you guys like it, enjoy it, and we'll see you next time.